Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. On Parliament logjam continues over Rahul Gandhi's remarks. Congress moves privilege motion against PM Modi. No compromise on new programs, says Pakistan Amit Cash Crunch. And Indian Oscar winners receive grand welcome as they return home. And now for all the details. The Indian Parliament was stalled for the fifth consecutive day on Friday with the ruling BJP demanding an apology from Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for his democracy under attack remarks in London. The opposition parties led by Congress on the other hand continued protest over the Adani row with Rahul Gandhi also joining the lawmakers to demand a parliamentary probe into the allegations of stock manipulation against the Adani group blaming the government of favouring the conglomerate. The BJP has accused Rahul Gandhi of maligning India on foreign soil over his remarks. BJP President J.P. Nadda earlier said Rahul Gandhi has become permanent part of toolkit working against India. Dusri or Rahul Gandhi, Videshi dharti par desh ka apman kar rahe hai, sadhan ka apman kar rahe hai, desh ki poorn bahumat si chuni hui sarkar ka apman kar rahe hai, aur desh ke 130 crore janta ka apman kar rahe hai. ये देशद्रोहियों के हाथों को मजबूत करना नहीं है तो और क्या है As the blame game continues, Congress leader K.C. Venugopal on Friday moved a privilege motion against Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his remarks in Parliament in February on the Gandhi family not using the Nehru surname. Writing to Rajya Sabha Speaker, Venugopal termed the PM's comments as derogatory, insulting, distasteful and defamatory. While Pakistan grapples with an unprecedented economic crisis, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Thursday said his government will not compromise on the country's nuclear and missile program and they are jealously guarded by the state. The statement came amid speculations raised after the visit of International Atomic Energy Agency's head to Pakistan last month and the government's failure in unlocking the much-needed IMF bailout program. Sharif in a tweet termed the speculation as unfortunate. Similarly, Finance Minister Ishaq Dar in the Senate said that the government won't compromise on the missile program and will guard the national interest. Talking about the IMF deal, Dar said friendly countries to fund a balance of payment gap was the last hurdle in securing the agreement. PM Sharif, who also spoke in the Senate, said that all of the IMF's conditions had been met and admitted tough decisions by his government have led to inflation and hard conditions for the common man. Locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have raised concern over deforestation and intentional forest fire that is leading to environmental degradation in the region. They complain felling of trees is happening under the watch of the corrupt authorities. A local said the unavailability of fuel is also forcing people to resort to illegal cutting of trees, raising concern over the depleting forest cover. Locals in Pakistan occupied Kashmir have long blamed Pakistan pays little attention to their pressing problems while it exploits natural resources in the region. This is the most जो चीज वर्नलेबल है जो चीज इस वक्त नुकसान जिसका सबसे ज्यादा हो रहा है वो जंगल का हो रहा है और जंगल का नुकसान होने से मुराद आप अपना अपने माहौल को नुकसान दे रहे हैं और इस सारे नुकसान को अगर आप एक एक सादा से जुमले में बयान करें कि हम अपनी आने वाली नस्लों के मुस्तकबल को तबाह करने के लिए हम सबके सब महकमे समेत आबादी समेत पढ़े लिखे समेत पढ़ू समेत सबके सब इसके पीछे Moving on, Siddhi activists staged a protest outside the UN office in Geneva on Thursday to highlight Pakistani atrocities in Sindh. They demanded the world body to intervene to stop the gross human rights violations in the region. Activists of the World Sindhi Congress staged a demonstration outside the UNHRC building in Geneva on Thursday to highlight the ongoing human rights violations by Pakistan in Sindh province. 
The demonstrators raised concern over enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings and the persecution of religious minorities, including forcible conversion of Hindu girls in the region, and lamented there is no recourse to justice available. वो पाकिस्तानी स्टेट एजेंसीज की सरबराही में उनकी सरपरस्ती में लोग आते हैं और हमारी हिंदू गर्ल्स को उठा के ले जाते हैं ये जुल्म के खिलाफ हमने एहतजाज किया है लैंड ग्रेबिंग हो रही है हमारे रिसोर्स लूट रहे हैं दे ऑल्सो सेट सिंधी पीपल आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वर्स्ट फ्लड्स इन द रीजन इवन आफ्टर सेवन मंथ्स ड्यू टू क्रिमिनल नेग्लिजेंस ऑफ पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट therefore our request to the international communities please 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 we need your help to stop these atrocities which are tantamount to genocide and hundreds of people sindhi people they are dying a seminar was also held by baloch human rights council in geneva earlier this week against the pakistani atrocities in balochistan and sindh in which they demanded the un to intervene and investigate the systematic genocide of indigenous people and minorities in pakistan The United Nations Security Council on Thursday asked Secretary General Antonio Guterres to provide an independent assessment of how to deal with Afghanistan's Taliban administration and combat challenges including its crackdown on women and girls rights. The 15 member council unanimously adopted a resolution that requires Guterres to submit a report to it in mid November with forward looking recommendations for an integrated and coherent approach among relevant political humanitarian and development actors within and outside of the United Nations. This proposal reflects our recognition that Afghanistan faces an exceptional set of challenges. from the severe deterioration of women and girls rights to the rise in humanitarian needs and the escalating security threat as well as the unsustainable economic situation the scale of the crisis demands a departure from business as usual the un has made its single largest country aid appeal ever asking for 4.6 billion us dollars in 2023 to deliver help in afghanistan where it says some 28 million people needed to survive The Taliban which seized power in 2021 after 20 years of war says it respects women's rights in accordance with its strict interpretation of Islamic law. Sri Lanka's central bank governor Nandalal Virasinghe said on Thursday that the island nation will introduce new central bank legislation aimed at bolstering the bank's independence, accountability and also price stability in the country via a new inflation target. Veer Singh has said that Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe who is also the finance minister and the central bank would together agree on what that target should be. He said that the central bank will be required to issue an inflation report every 6 months and will need to provide explanations to a parliamentary committee on its performance as and when necessary. Economic mismanagement coupled with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic left Sri Lanka severely short of dollars for essential imports at the start of the last year, tipping the country into its worst financial crisis. As Indians cherish two Oscar awards this week, the composer and the lyricist of the Natu Natu song from the RRR movie and the producer of documentary film The Elephant Whisperers received a grand welcome as they arrived back home. Take a look. Oscar-winning Indian producer Guneet Monga was greeted by cinema lovers with cheers, garlands and bouquets as she landed in India on Thursday after winning Academy Award for documentary short film The Elephant Whisperers. Indians had won Oscars previously, but no Indian film had won an Academy Award before Sunday night. The Elephant Whisperers is a 2022 documentary about a couple in southern India who adopts a baby elephant and cares for him. It has been directed by Karthiki Gonsalves who was also awarded. I think this is a huge blessing and this is 1.4 billion people manifesting it together. I am so grateful that this is uh, we were able to do this we were able to do this for our country. Meanwhile composer MM Kiravani and lyricist Kanukuntala Subhash Chandra Bose who won the Oscars for Natu Natu song the breakout hit from the action movie RRR also arrived at Hyderabad airport to a similar grand welcome. 
The fast-paced number received a standing ovation when it was performed at the 95th Academy Awards. It has found fans all over the world and has millions of views on YouTube. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Good night. Tech TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.